Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This problem was asked in IIT JE Advanced 2019. And this is a problem if you understand properly, there are a lot of concepts here. And if you get this problem correctly, and if you understand the hidden concepts here, and whatever I'm gonna tell you today, you will be able to solve many of such problems at IIT JE Advanced level. You will be able to do those problems very easily, okay? So watch carefully, there are some concepts here and I'll be going into some of those details as well. So let me first describe the problem. There is a block of mass 2m, which is attached to a ma massless spring constant k. So this spring constant is k. This block is connected to other blocks m and 2m using two massless pulleys and strings. And the accelerations for the blocks are a1 for this one, a2 for this one, and a3 for this guy. And when the system is released from rest with the spring in its unstretched stage, okay, so spring is not stretched initially, the maximum extension of the spring is given as x0. And then it is asking us to find which all options are correct. So as I have been saying, you know, in many of my videos that in IIT JE advanced question, you should check all the options and mark all the answers correctly. Okay, then only you will get the full marks. I hope you understand the question. So let's get into the details, okay? So the first concept here that I want you to understand is that in a mass pulley system, okay, in a mass and pulley system, deal with absolute accelerations okay this is important for you to note so for example the question is saying this mass has acceleration a3 and this has acceleration a2 downwards this has acceleration a1 okay so now let's assume that the relative acceleration here for this system is let's say a this mass going down and with A, this mass is going up, okay? If suppose you just consider this part, right? And assume that this pulley is fixed, then it has to be something like this. Then relative to this pulley also, this mass is going down by A and this mass should be going up by A, okay? Relative to this pulley. So let's assume that relative to pulley B, let's call this A and this call this B. The acceleration of the system is A, okay. Then what is A3? A3 is nothing but A plus A1. Why? Because this pulley itself is going down by A1, right? This mass is going with acceleration a1, hence this pulley will also go down with acceleration a1. So since a3 is the absolute acceleration, so a3 should be equal to a plus a1. And since I said deal with absolute acceleration, the question is actually helping you by giving you absolute acceleration here, a1, a2, a3. Otherwise, you would need to assume something, okay? Okay. So A3 is A1, A plus A1, you could see that, right? Because this guy is going down with A, so this pull is going down with A1. Overall, the mass 2M is going down with A plus A1. What about this guy? It is given that A2 is downwards. It's indicated in the figure. So the acceleration downwards should be A1 minus A because this mass is going up by A, okay? Okay, so I hope you can see this one. Now, if you can rearrange this and then you will get A2 minus A1 as minus A from here and also A1 minus A3, you will get minus A, which means A2 minus A1 is equal to A1 minus A3, correct? Okay. So, which means D is the right answer. So, D is definitely is the answer. Okay. So, so far, so good. Now, 
let's write the equations for the mass pulley system okay the for pulley b so let's assume that the tension is t here here also it is t so what do you think how much tension here should i write it should be 2t okay i hope it's clear so let's write for the pulley b and mass m and 2m so we can write 2mg minus t equal to 2m a3 but a3 is nothing but a plus a1 and then we can write t minus mg right equal to m and minus a2 because i am taking t as positive assuming that's going upwards you can assume going downwards also and write the equation it doesn't matter but if i write this way then i will get minus a2 which is a minus a1 okay i am writing it because i want to just add these two and therefore this becomes mg equal to 3 ma plus m a1 okay so if you take this a equal to g minus a1 by 3 right therefore if i take t the second equation so t equal to mg plus mg by 3 minus m a1 by 3 i'm just using this equation and putting a as with this expression replacing a with this expression so n minus m a1 okay so then i get 4 mg by 3 minus 4 m a1 by 3 therefore t i get as 4 m by 3 g minus a1 okay so i got the t now so which means let's say this equation 1 i can now write the similar f equal to ma equation for this mass okay so i hope so far you have understood the question and on how i am writing the solution if you don't get it then i just write it for you if this mass is 2m and tension is t the weight is 2mg and it is going down with a3 and similarly you have mass m t mg and it is going down with a2 okay so i've just used this fbd so for the other mass let's draw the diagram again so 2m this is 2t don't forget so if this is 2t then here also it is 2t hmm? okay and let's say that the spring is stressed with x so let's say kx is in this direction it's a frictionless surface and this is moving with acceleration a1 so the equation would be 2t minus kx equal to 2m a1 you get this one now replace t with this expression so we can get 2 into 4 m by 3 g minus a1 minus kx equal to 2 m a1 okay just simplify this so this is 8 mg by 3 minus kx equal to 2 m a1 plus 8 m a1 by 3 okay let's take the a1 this side so this becomes 14 m a1 by 3 equal to 8 mg by 3 minus kx let's just rearrange it and write it as minus kx plus 8 mg by 3 and we can also take the k outside let's say minus k outside so x minus 8 mg by 3k further we can write a1 as minus 3k 
डिवाइड बाय फोर्टीन एम एक्स माइनस एट एम जी बाय थ्री के ओके सो वी कैन सी दैट दिस इज नथिंग बट डी टू एक्स बाय डी टी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री के बाय फोर्टीन एम एक्स माइनस एट एम जी बाय थ्री के and i can write it like minus omega square x minus b or let's say a okay so omega is 3k by 14m and a is 8mg by 3k okay so this is the frequency of the shm you clearly notice this is shm going on okay and it is little shifted if you see because this is not x but x minus a okay how to see this is actual in shm so you can replace x prime as x minus a and then x prime double dot will simply become x double dot so it doesn't matter because this is this just and denotes that it is little shifted from the origin and we got the omega and we got the amplitude and we got t time period as 2 pi by omega okay so the important point to note here is that if you find a question where the mass is attached to the spring then must check the possibility of an shm now here you might question how do i get a as 8mg by 3k right okay so let's see this also so we know that max stretch happens when velocity is zero acceleration is not zero okay it's not zero in fact acceleration is max when the displacement is max okay so we need to find x0 which is maximum stretch right so we need to find out what point at what point v0 okay this is easy because we already know the equation here so a is minus omega square x minus a therefore v dv by dx is minus omega square x minus a okay and if you integrate this v dv to minus omega square x minus a dx then we get v square by 2 as minus omega square x square by 2 minus ax okay therefore v square by 2 is minus omega square x x by 2 minus a and this is zero at x equal to 0 which is normal and also at x equal to 2a okay therefore x0 is nothing but 2a that's the maximum stretch and this is 2 into 8 mg by 3k which is 16 mg by 3k now i don't think that's what mentioned in the op option x0 is equal to 4 mg by k whereas we get 16 mg by 3k so this is definitely not the case the second option let's check the spring achieves an extension of x0 by 2 for the first time the speed is this okay so this is x0 by 2 is what x0 by 2 is nothing but amplitude because we just got x0 is 2a therefore a is x0 by 2 which is 8mg by 3k okay so at this point what is the velocity so velocity is a omega at the amplitude when when the particle is at the amplitude how do we get it let's see this we have the equation x d2x by dt square equal to minus omega square x minus a okay so let's write it like 
a sin omega t okay let's say x equal to a sin omega t so x dot is a omega cos omega t and this is nothing but velocity and at t omega t equal to pi we get cos omega t as minus 1 so the velocity achieves maximum at this point okay this is just minus is just denoting the direction so the velocity is a omega at omega t equal to pi which is nothing but the when x is equal to a amplitude and that's what it is asking when x is equal to a which is amplitude the what is the velocity so velocity is a omega okay so what is a a is 8 mg by 3k and omega is 3k by 14m and that is equal to uh, something like this 32m by 21k okay and i don't think this is what is given here so this is something else so this is also not the right answer now the c part is an extension of x0 by 4 the acceleration this time it is asking, uh, asking for acceleration is 3g by 10 okay so this one should be simple because we already have the equation for acceleration right we just need to put x at x as x0 by 4 okay so let's do that so acceleration a1 is minus 3k by 14m x0 by 4 so what is x0 16 mg so 16 mg by 4 into 3k minus 8 mg by 3k okay. then it becomes minus 3k by 14m into minus this becomes 4 mg by 3k and therefore this becomes 3k by 14m into 4mg by 3k so this got cancelled and then it's cancelled and what we get is even as 2g by 7 and check the option again i don't think it's a 3g uh, is 3g by 10 so this is again not correct we get 2g by 7 so only option d is correct okay rest of the options are wrong i hope you understood the concept here the first concept is that in mass pulley system always use absolute acceleration don't deal with relative acceleration okay and you need to figure out the relative acceleration if the pulley is moving so as in this case the pulley was moving this is one thing and the second thing is once you come up with an equation like this then you should try to figure out if this is an SHM or not and in this case it is SHM so whenever you see spring mass problem uh, definitely figure out the whether the SHM is occurring or not and if it is happening then try to figure out the frequency and the time period and amplitude okay if you have any question or any concern then please do send me email you can leave a comment and I will respond as soon as possible I hope you like the video please do subscribe and like it and share with your friends. Thank you very much. Subscribe and gain access to concepts and tips for doing better in IIT, JE or other examinations. Keep up the great work.